What's up YouTube? So today I have an in-depth review on the brand new iOS 7 Beta 1. Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, if you have any ideas or requests for future videos, um, you can leave that in the comments below. Uh, so thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. So let's get started. So as you can see, when I first turn on my phone, you see you have this brand new lock screen. You'll see at the top you have this little button that when you pull down, you actually get your notification center straight from your lock screen. Also, you have your camera button right there where you can just slide up and you get your camera. And then, you also, if you slide up in the middle, you get your control settings, which this, you are now able to change your airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb, rotation lock, brightness, volume controls, music controls, airdrop, airplay, and flashlight, calculator, many more things. Okay, now you see when you unlock it, there's no longer a slider. You just swipe anywhere on the screen, and it unlocks. There's also the new lock animation, which, as you see, the apps kind of fall in. Okay, next you can see from the home screen that the apps look very different. They look much flatter, much more modern. And this is, um, it looks different. And as you can see here, let's open up an app, let's open up notes. You can see here that if I make a new app, new note, you now no longer have that leather look at the top here. It's just plain notes. And as you can also see the keyboard here is much different. It's transparent. Same with Notification Center, that is also transparent and quick settings. Okay, so next I'll be showing you the reminders. The new reminders app it looks much flatter than you can see before. They also have new features so you can click plus here to add your new re reminder. Okay, so there you see I have that. Now if I click on this you can actually add different things to that list which will help you remind. It. Okay, the next thing I'll be talking about is the app store. So as you can see in the app store here, you now have a different button near me. This is now when you are, let's say you're in town and there's a Starbucks near you and you open this up near me, there will be a Starbucks, the Starbucks app will pop up there. And so now you're able to see apps that are relevant to where you are. And you can also see they have top charts near me. And then also with downloads, it now automatically updates your um, apps for you when you are connected to Wi-Fi or data. Okay, the next thing I'm going to be showing you is settings. So as you can see here in settings, um, it looks much different. There, The way this is laid out is different. The way back at the home screen here is different. You see you have your cellular toggles up here, and then you have your all, all your other toggles down here. And now you actually, if you go into iTunes and App Store, you'll see in this that you do here have automatic downloads for updates, and you can either turn that on or off. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is Safari. So you see here, just load a web page. So here I am in Google. Now if I want to go make a new web page, you can either go to your tabs down here, and you see now the tabs look different. So you can click plus in the middle to make a new tab. And I can go to my website. Okay. Okay, you see now we're at my website. Now, if you go back to the tabs, you can scroll through your different tabs like this. And you're now able to, if you go back in your tabs, just swipe across to close your tabs. Now, also, if you're in a tab, and then you go to google.com or any other website, and then go to another link in that page, grab the left side of the screen and swipe back, it's like going back, it's a back button, same as this button right here, which is like they have on a Mac with the trackpad. Also, you see here you have your bookmarks page where you can put all your bookmarks which sync with your computer, and reading list where you now have all your reading list stuff here. Now in here, this is the same that you had before. You can send the link, you can add it to your home screen, print it, airdrop, which is now able to see other people's iPhones that are near you and send files to them without using an app. Okay, the next app I'm going to show you is the music app. So as you see here, that you now get this picture of the first song in every playlist, or the album cover of that song. So you also now have this thing right here, you see it says radio. If you click on that, you now have an iTunes radio. This is a brand new thing, it's still in beta, it's it's not perfect yet, but it's getting better. So now you can actually click on a radio station, this is similar to Pandora, 
and the song should just start playing. You also have this button right up here where you can actually buy the song if you like it. And yeah, and then you can also just go back here and go back to your regular music like you would be able to before. Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the multitasking, as you might have seen right there. When you go to multitasking, you see now you get a full sp a screenshot of each app. So you can see I have all my different apps that are open. And you get the little icon underneath. So right now I'm on Reminders. Reminders is underneath. But the apps on the bottom do not perfectly match it unless the app is in the middle. And to close an app, you just swipe up. And if you want to open an app, you just tap the app. And this makes multitasking much faster and much cleaner. Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about is folders. So you see here I have a folder. And now, as you may have noticed, that the folder zooms in on the wallpaper around the folder and on the folder. So the wallpaper now is cropped to what the uh, folder fits in on the main screen. And now you also see that I have these three buttons down here. These are different pages, so you can actually scroll your folders now, putting as many apps in them as you want. I like the way this looks, but I um, think that they shouldn't have it make its own window. I think it's drop down is cool. Okay, the next thing is um, newsstand. Newsstand's right here. When you open it up, you see now it's not a folder anymore. It's its own app. So now when you close it, it's its own app here. Yeah. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is the weather app. The weather app, as you can see here, if you pinch, you'll get all your different weathers right here. So I have Truckee, Cupertino, and New York. So you can also add your weather here. So if I wanted to add... LA. Okay, so now you see I've added this. You can tap on it, and then you get this nice view of the weekly weather, or the hourly weather and the weekly weather here, and you can scroll through up here your different weathers you have, and then your current location weather. You pinch back out to see all of them. Okay, the next app is the Clocks app. As you can see here, you now have your world clocks, which looks similar to what it did back in weather, where they're in a list, they're nice, neat, flat. You can see when you click on it, you actually get the digital clock and the analog clock. And you also, you can put your alarms, you can make an alarm and save it. You also have this new switcher, you just tap it, turns it on and off. Stopwatch, you see this looks much different. You can reset it, start it, and then timer here where you have your timer, and as you notice, they have a different scrolling thing here, which looks a bit different. Okay, so, well, lastly, they have added a new app, FaceTime. This is only for, this used to be only for iPod Touches and iPads, but now they have added it to the iPhone. This is an iPhone 5, and as you see, they have it here. Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, if you have any ideas or requests for future videos, um, you can leave that in the comments below. Uh, so thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.